Hola, buen día, Carl Munson, with a Good Morning Portugal podcast, uh, the return of the Good Morning Portugal podcast, actually, and I couldn't resist this morning uh, getting back on air, as it were, with an amazing property listing from Pure Portugal. This is, uh, to quote them, a beautiful village of houses, and the area is La Area, which uh, I've singing the praises of La Area only recently. It's brilliantly placed, central location, almost equidistant between Porto and Lisbon, um, so um, pretty good location, but the town is amazing, fourth biggest apparently, and a lovely atmosphere. We were there, I think, about a week ago, uh, and it's actually at a wonderful uh, Japanese restaurant, among many other fabulous um, facilities, a great atmosphere, the town square is wonderful, and you're very handy, if you saw my video, you're very handy for the... Um, uh, Estrangeros, the uh, Strangers B Bureau for Immigration and, and Residency and that sort of thing in La Area. Anyway, on with this listing. Uh, buy a village, it says, stone buildings for renovation, land with four hectares and wells. And this will cost you €275,000. So obviously, if you're buying a village, it's probably um, you're a really wealthy um, person who wants a seclusion of your own village. Uh, like some sort of James Bond baddie, or you might be um, on the other uh, end of the scale. Hmm, that's getting a bit polar, isn't it? Anyway, on the other end of the scale, um, a group of well-meaning eco-villagers. Uh, a rare opportunity to buy a village, it says here. Old stone buildings are terraced and detached. Some have ground and first floor, which, if converted slash refurbished, would make comfortable good-sized two- or three-bedroomed homes. The larger are ideal for stables slash guest houses, function room, restaurant, etc. You have your own restaurant in a village. Uh, one house is renovated with three bedrooms, new roof, kitchen and bathroom a large rear balcony offers great views and an ideal area to relax and enjoy an afternoon lunch with a glass of local um, locally produced wine Ugh, yes i'll buy it um as it stands there is only a power supply to the recently refurbished house therefore resources for heat electricity and water supply etc are optional there is full internet access with a strong 4g signal um that's a bit of an oxymoron anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, you'd have to, t I, I'd recommend testing that for yourself. Uh, this, if your business depends on internet, you really need to check that out. Uh, land with four hectares that can be separated and allocated to individual properties. The village would be suitable for an eco-friendly village through the abundance of the natural resources available, water, wells, good soil, general climate conditions, and of course, sunshine. The village is tranquil, peaceful, and secluded with maybe the odd tractor or car passing through once in a while. What a cheek. Uh, long ago, grapes were grown to produce wine, olive trees for cork, uh, sorry, olive trees for oil, uh, and uh, oak trees for cork. Yes, obviously, that's a mistake. Olive trees for cork. <laughs> you think, what are you talking about, Monson? Yeah. Uh, let me just backtrack on that. Olive trees for oil, original Portuguese oak trees for cork, the giant old wine vats, water wells, and some oak trees still remain. Situated high on a hilltop with spectacular all-round views of lush green on one side and to infinity and beyond on the other. Walking through the village road, the properties to the right-hand side have an access road to the rear. Then an incline where previously the landscape was terraced with grapevines. Oh, the land, the left-hand side was for olive and oak trees and where one of the water wells is situated. Now, the, the, if you want to look it up on a map, it's Chumbaria, C-H-U-M-B-A-R-I-A, -A, around an hour and a half, as I said, uh, drive north of Lisbon and an hour and 45 up south, up north to uh, Porto. La area is Portugal's fourth largest city, vibrant city centre, and it's only 20 minutes away from this location. Uh, I won't get into all the other stuff, but it is close to excellent beaches, and you're about uh, 30 to 45 minutes away from Nazare, where those m incredible waves are that are becoming really popular with surfers. Any road, uh, if you want any more, just look it up on Pure Portugal, give me a buzz. Uh, if you want any more help on the ground here uh, in Portugal, I'm your man. Take care. Hope you enjoyed that. Bye for now.